Well, from the planet Xantu, we will have our international headquarters, and we'll be able to, in parallel universes, see all of the stages of transformation happen. Yeah, it's going to be outstanding. And feeding people, it will be done uh, kinetically. You do it, you, you think it, they're fed. It's going to be great. Well, the look of rescue mission work will look like me. That's all. I don't know what it's going to be on that. I don't know how we're going to do it, but I know that we're all going to look like me. We will probably be giving them cars at our mission. And um, we may even give them boats where they can go fishing during the day. It's a hundred years from now, okay? What will rescue mission work look like? Funny that you should mention that. I mean, here at the, at the rescue mission in Fort Wayne, we have been working with uh, our IT department. And what we're working on right now is a machine that you can walk up to, push a button, and the food comes out. You don't have to do anything. No more volunteers for serving food. No more guys working in the kitchen. You're just going to push a button and food's just going to come out. It is going to be chicken, however. It'll always be chicken. It'll still be chicken. And no matter what button you push, whether it's, whether it's, it's steak or, 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 or prime rib, chicken will always come out. That's it. It'll save thousands. It will save thousands, but, but it'll still be chicken. And on the menu today is chicken. I think the methods are gonna change a lot, but I don't think the core of what we're doing is gonna change all that much. It's gonna be about uh, finding people that are hurting um, and that might look different than it does now but sharing with them the gospel message the love of Jesus and that's not going to change in a hundred years so uh, I think um, like I said the methods are going to look different but not the heart of what we do and that's the cool thing. I think mission work a hundred years from now has still got to maintain that relational component. Now how we'll do that relational component I think will take on a totally new wave of uh, technology of interacting and developing relationships, but it's still gonna come down to people touching people and helping them find their hope in Christ. Some things I think won't change as much as we think it is. I think the biggest thing is the diversity will be greater than it is now, much greater. And who knows what that'll look like, but the core will always be the same. What do you think mission work will look like 100 years from now? Boy, that's a $64,000 question. Um, it will always be spirit-led, and it will all be proclaiming the gospel. Um, as to what the programs will look like and uh, how we'll interact with those who are needy and lonely and lost, uh, I'll leave that in God's hands. I think it's going to be cutting edge. I think it's going to be uh, seeing more men, women, and children come to the saving knowledge of Christ than ever before, and our doors are going to be wide open for those that are hurting and broken coming into our doors, and we get to meet their physical needs and their spiritual needs on that as well. Well, I think, I think always as people get more technical and we find people who are well-educated, the Bible says that those who seem to be well-educated, have lots of money, have a hard time believing in Jesus Christ. And my hope is that uh, people will realize that Christ is still the answer and that the hope of the world is not in our finance and what we make, but the hope of the world is in Christ in eternity.